Alright, that's us hopefully going out live for first shot of Along Together on PlayStation 4, PlayStation VR. Oh, I thought this was going to be a move controller game. No? Okay, so I'm just going to switch off my move controller then, I think. Because, yeah, it's definitely not working. Cool. Sorry about that. Just be a second. Just going to switch it off so I don't use up all the battery. There we go. Right. Choose a kid. <laughs> This should be nice. I think it's from the same guys as Floor Plan. <laughs> Taking selfies with the wee dog with a pirate hat on. This is good already. That's that's a human making those dog noises. I've listened to enough Adam Buxton podcasts to know that. <laughs> Secret sad game. <laughs> Press X. It's a bit like um, Ghost Giant as well, which I just played. <laughs> hey man, how's it going? Um, I'm, I'm an enormous uh, yeah. sort of creature, I think. Rishu. What's that? Shiko no. Huh? Chico, Chico, Chico. Toss him over the hill. <laughs> you might be really sad, we man. <laughs> Move. What's this? How do I, I can control you by pointing at you? This might actually be really nice. It's making me want to play. Um, it just reminded me I've not played Astrobot yet. Sorry. Camera's doing odd things. Look at that. I seen um I went a walk on Monday, a big walk, like six miles. And there was like two peacocks standing on like fence posts. And I thought they were statues and then they started moving and making mad noises. So I got out of there quick smart. No, I stood and tried to take pictures of them but all the young team were there on their bikes. And any of them had masks on. I was like, it's time for me to get out of here. <laughs> I missed all the, the help that it was giving me. Last time I saw peacocks was in Portugal. I, it's, it's been, it'd been such a long time since I'd seen peacocks in real life. Just, I think this was like a kind of farm. Like they seemed to keep a lot of chickens and stuff, but there was peacocks just wandering about. Wow. And that's what I was thinking, that's what I thought had happened at first, I was like, are these just peacocks in their natural habitat, but they seem to be staying in the, the garden area, or the field area rather. The movement's quite slight on the floating camera, but it's enough to give me a wee bit, kind of, motion. Uh, I'll get used to it, this week I can climb quite high. Aim at the log, grab it with, and pull it down. That's smart. He's like, yes! Look at that! Did you do that? And I'm like, I did do that. So, you know, don't mess about. <laughs> What's that? Secret thing? Don't fall to your death, wee man. Good animation on him. I like that. Select, pick up. Is that a Game Boy? Yeah. Nice man, get that picked up. What game's in it? <laughs> it better be Super Mario Land or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Follow the Foot Clan. Because that's what I had. Uh, right, so I can pick this back up. 
Oh, I was trying to do it with motion controls rather than the analog stick. Come on. Uh, this actually might be really good. Music's lovely and playing a platformer in VR is something I've only done two or three times. Get that Game Boy out. <laughs> it's all fun in games until they start throwing enemies into the mix and then uh, start dying and falling off things. It's another one I've had for quite a wee while. So we got Tetris. <laughs> that was my original as well. Mind my dad getting to. Uh, that's like the only game he's really ever properly played. It's Tetris, and uh, he got to level nine high five and made the spaceship take off in Tetris, and I couldn't believe it. Didn't think it was possible. <laughs> he was like, "Look at this! I got the spaceship to happen." And I was like, "In Tetris." <laughs> <laughs> Even as a wee guy, I was like, that doesn't sound... You sure you were playing Tetris, though? <laughs> but it's legit. It's a hard thing to do. This is kind of cool. I'm liking this game. What can we do? Do I need to get out of the way of that, do you think? Where's it go? Just moving it over so I can climb up. Is this going to spoil Astrobot for me? Is Astrobot going to be like this? It's not gave much explanation to what I am. Am I like a guardian angel or just a, a helpful poltergeist? Ryan will spoil. <laughs> he loves it though, doesn't he? It's one I really need to get round to. I've had it for a wee while, I think somebody got us it for my Christmas or my birthday last year and I've still not played it yet. Uh, what's the with this one? Cowpin it. Cowpin it like that. Birthday thing. Nice. This does seem like a game that uh, is for all ages. It's Pikmin 3. It's weird. Every time a, a game that I've got for the Wii U that was exclusive to the Wii U comes out on the Switch, I feel like there's one less reason for me to have a Wii U. Like, for real now, the best thing about the Wii U is... What have I got that hasn't made it to the other consoles? Nothing good. What was that um, Tecmo game? Let me just look, because I've got it out there. Devil's Third. <laughs> I've got Devil's Third. I can still hang on to my Wii U for that. Uh, game and Wario, which was not a great WarioWare game. What else have I got over there? The Tekken was good. Tekken Tag. Uh, Yoshi's Willy World. Super Mario 3D World. Zombie U. It's a shame. It's a good thing though. It's a good thing when games get ported. Pikmin, Pikmin was good. I can admit I never finished a single Pikmin, but I have played all three. <laughs> Yoshi's Willy World. Is that what I said? <sighs> I hope I didn't say that. Oh, no, that was good. Oh, what was that called? Tank, tank, tank. I mean, I've probably just got the launch fever at that point when I bought that game. I loved Nintendo Land because it was five, five player in the one house. Uh, same way Sonic and All-Stars Racing transformed before Mario Kart 8 was out. That was the greatest. Nice. So it's kind of like the beginning 
Found the star. We're going to the crow's nest now. It's the treehouse. He's got all his drawings he's dug. He's got a wee robot guy. That's the sheriff! That's the sheriff at a four plan. Still trying to find all the Mario stars for the wee. Check every weekend. That's that's the sheriff at a four plan, man. He's right there. Pardon me. I just barked. Sorry about that. Didn't even feel that one coming. There's a Game Boy! There's a wee snowman that you can win four plan. He's alive and happy and well. I'm so glad. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, true. I've even got the one for the 3DS. I didn't even play. Like, Poochie. Yoshi and Poochie. The Amiibo for that's worth like 40 quid on its own. I've got the big mega yarn Yoshi as well. Sorry, wee man, I'm holding you back here. We've got work to do, haven't we? <laughs> Poochie for the Simpsons. No, he's the, uh, I don't even know what it was called. Yoshi and Poochie's Nightmare World. <laughs> Bobby World. <laughs> uh, what have we got? Is it still deer there? See, with those things, at one point I had, like, every amiibo, but then there was over a hundred. It's cheaper than the Wii version, nice. There's over a hundred amiibos now. I started getting rid of a lot of them. Like, ones from series that I'm not mad on. <laughs> Where's that? Alright, oh, that's just moving back there. Can it go right and left? No. There we go. That's the way. Looks like there is something over there though, eh? <laughs> I have. I have indeed. I'm not sure if I sold Wolf. I maybe sold Wolf. Ah! Ah! That's your dog. Look at that dog. Oh my god. Star Fox Adventures. I really struggled with Star Fox Adventures. I tried really, really hard because I loved, I had uh, Star Wing or Star Fox when I was wee on the SNES and I loved it. Um, and it was done by Platinum, wasn't it? Star, Star Fox Adventures, the GameCube one, or am I thinking of Star Fox? Zero. It's really funny. <laughs> the GameCube, ah, that's the one with the, the dinosaur island. I have got that. I have got that. I don't know if I finished it, but I've got it. So where can that go? Can that go left and right? Are these? Do these all do the same thing? Just checking. Ah, apparently it turns into like. Star Fox at the end. Like, properly. Hey. He's pointing at things, which is good. Okay, so we can get out there, but we might do that. It's a bit... We did underplay the flying... Ah, yeah, yeah. The one on Wii U was... I mean, that's still a reason to have my Wii U. I don't think I would get rid of my Wii U, to be honest. I liked it at first. I loved, I mean, remember when Rayman Legends was exclusive to the Wii U? Remember that short period of time where... There was a period of time during the year of Luigi where... I was spending more time on the Wii U playing the Rayman Legends Challenges app. Because they delayed it for a wee while. I love Rayman so much. I don't know why they only made two of them. Origins and Legends. I mean, they're perfect. Oh, there's a thing up there. How would, uh, how would I get that? There's a robot. I'll go down here. It looks like there's a checkpoint. <laughs> That's right. That's what they're going to sing now, like. That's what I'll be singing. 
Think that's gonna scare these birdies away up to the What is this? Okay. Can I turn around and aim at the uh the thing behind me? Is that possible? Up there. This game is so good. <laughs> so any other birdies want to chase the way? Those birdies are about to hit this. Oh my god. There's a lot of crows that live in a big tree. Uh, where I used to live. It was good, it was good when they would all just decide that they were taking off and making a racket. Press circle to exit. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, an F-Zero game. I suppose there was, there was a game that was kind of like... Is that on the Switch now as well? Uh, oh my god, Neo Racer. Oh, what was it called? Fast Racing Neo or something? My brain can't even remember every game title anymore because there's several thousand. I think it is Fast Racing Neo. There was something like that that I meant to get or did get digitally on the Wii U. Woohoo! Woo Put it in your wee bag. Hopefully I can pull the other thing from here. I'd play that. It is good, right? Nobody I do though. Oh, I can jump up on it. They've made crows look evil. They're actually really smart. I mean, they do, you know... They do kill their own if they're like no well or that. I mean that's not particularly nice. The fort, the fart. So it's just a wee guy wanting his dog back. Is that what this game is? Here's the dog. <laughs> and searching for secrets. These levels are gonna get hard though, aren't they? Already. There we go. Oh. F Zero RPG. <laughs> yeah. Eternal Darkness Two. Oh, Aye. Yeah. It's a shame Two Human killed that company, isn't it? I bought Two Human, and it still wasn't enough. <laughs> it still wasn't enough to save them. Silicon Knights. Silicon Knights. They made uh, the Twin Snakes remake on GameCube as well, didn't they? Had to make two belters and then decided to make two human for for years. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Eternal Darkness was great. It's games like that, like there's there's certain games, I feel like any company that's, if, if they see that their games that aren't available anymore are selling at a high price and people are still buying them, that's all the incentive they should really need to be like, hey, we should probably try and, you know, port this, even if it's on the cheap. <laughs> port this to somewhere. Like Sunset Riders, it came out this year and I can't believe it. I've been waiting like, 27 years or something for a re-release of that game and then it just came out with no fanfare it was just there it is here it is it's a fiver a Sonic game where he falls in love with a <laughs> Sonic 2006 I think I'm not sure I think I had two copies of that so maybe I've sold one of them but that is one that might be uh, that I might get rid of <laughs> oh that's not working is it can you jump up there too there we go Let's go over here. 
I've got a bunch of Sonic games I haven't played through. I think I've got a Sonic RPG on the DS, the Dark Brotherhood or something. No played through that. But aye, things like Sunset Raiders where it's like £100 just for the cartridge. If the company sees that that's happening and people are buying it, do a, a re-release. Uh, Snatcher. I don't know why Snatcher's never came out on anything other than the Mega CD in the PAL territories. Ah. <laughs> I mean, you can get the Turbo Graphics Mini and Snatcher's on it, but it's entirely in Japanese. So I'm like, who, who makes these decisions. I snatch her for the Switch. It would be incredible. I couldn't even say that properly. I was that excited. Trying to erase that game for your memory. Yeah, it's a bad one. It is a bad one, Sonic 2006. Silver the Hedgehog. He was alright. I tried to do that. I think it's two-player co-op that game as well. I think I tried to play it two-player co-op. On a couple of occasions with different people. That's weird. Why would that go over there? Where else can it go? <laughs> Daytona! Uh, that's too big for him to climb, isn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. There are good tunes. There are good tunes in it. Sonic's always got good tunes. Hmm. Sonic Adventure games were actually... Uh, although, wait, I mean, I'm saying that. I don't know if they were. I remember playing them on my, my pal's Dreamcast back in the day. It's funny. The first Dreamcast I ever played was my pal's one. Uh... And I bought it off him, maybe about, oh jeez, oh, so that would have been college, so like 2005, I bought it off him, and it's still running, so the first Dreamcast I ever played is still going strong to this day. He was actually rent a couple of weeks ago, uh, we were talking about how incredible the Dreamcast is. I've got it set up on my CRT TV for uh, yeah. Confidential Mission and House of the Dead 2. <laughs> sure, I've got another shooting game on it, but I can't even mind what it's called. Right. This is looking dangerous. You've seen any secrets on this level? They are classics, aren't they? They're like old timers. Easy old timers. Right, there's a wee thing down there that I could maybe get to. I don't know how, like, I maybe will only go for every secret in the game, I'll maybe just try to solve these normal puzzles first. Sounds happen with that calibration, maybe. Okay. I think I need to recalibrate, but it's nearly there. There we go. It's <laughs> Superman 64. I what about it? <laughs> it's some game like... What are you thinking? He's getting a PS5? He's going for that. Can I just drop down there, do you think? Did I use that already? I must have done it. Eh? I must have used that already. Might skip this, Jen. No, oh, man, you can't. Eh? I know what you mean, though. <laughs> For a while, I, I always say that, though. I'm such a hypocrite, man. Been confidential mission where you have to shoot stuff in the ceiling. Aye, that's right! Some of the wee extra bits in that are solid. You need two folk that know what they're doing and know what the wee kind of quick time bits are. There was something else like that. See, the Wii, the Wii had a lot of... Uh, the Wii was a good home for light gun games, like. That's why I'm always championing 
the Wii. Because <laughs> they had House of the Dead 2 and 3, they had uh, LA Machine Guns, Gunblade New York, uh, Sun and Punishment. That's one of the best games of all time. Sin and Punishment 2, Successor of the Skies. It was that Wii game that was a grindhouse game. Oh, House of the Dead Overkill. Which has got, I think, the most swearing in any game I've ever heard. Plus, I'm childish. See if there's a game... See, <laughs> see if there's a game on the Wii that has... That makes my brain feel the way it does when I play the piano. Like, Sin and Punishment, Successor of the Skies is like, you use the Wii Remote to aim and the nunchuck to avoid all the projectiles, like, so with one hand you're playing a shmup and with the other hand you're playing a light gun game. I think I've got, like, attention deficit or something, undiagnosed, various un undiagnosed <laughs> things, but there's something I would adore, Sin and Punishment on the Wii. Uh, what else is exclusive to Wii that's a belter? There's a game, some of the games on the Wii feel like they were designed just for me. Like, there's a game, Disaster Day of Crisis, um, that is like half uh, Disaster Report and half Light Gun game. <laughs> what are these crows going to do if I go out there? Can they kill me? Can I be killed by a crow? Can I just... Alright, 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 don't kill me. What else is so much on the Wii? Kirby's Epic Yarn is the best Kirby game uh, by Miles. I'll take on anybody who says otherwise. <laughs> uh, should have jumped in there. Yeah, it's a murder of crows, right? Yeah, I see that looks better. There we go. Right, other classic Wii games. Reasons to still have a Wii. No More Heroes 1 and 2. If you've got the freeloader and you can get the American version with all the blood for No More Heroes 1. Uh, what else? There was hundreds of stuff that didn't come out of here that should have on the Wii. Like, uh, was there not a Project Zero game? Like the Suda51 Project Zero game. I don't think it came out. Mask of the Winter Eclipse or something. Oh, that's only one down. That's, that's only one down, so I need to... I never stood on that enough. I see, I see, I see the puzzle now. I get it. I love solving puzzles. Obviously there was like Captain Rainbow or whatever as well in Japan that didn't come out. But what else was actually on the Wii in the UK? What are you pointing at? <laughs> Just found all the North American... Nice! That's something I have thought about for a while, is just getting a... There's a couple keep coming up on Facebook Marketplace, like modded Wii's. Uh, that you just need to put in a, an external hard drive to. Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, I They are, they are some of the greatest of all time. Uh, oh, I'm going to have a look at my shelves, just give me a sec. <laughs> what have I got up there? So I, all oh, the Resident Evils, there's hundreds of Resident Evils, Umbrella Chronicles, Dark Side Chronicles, Mad Dog McCree, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. Mad World, that kind of thing. Uh, Cursed Mountain. Okami, Metroid Prime Trilogy, Pandora's Tower, The Last Story, The Conduit, Xenoblade, Pikmin 1 and 2 for the Wii. That's just the, all the ones I can see for here as well. Okami was amazing on Wii. You know, I hate admitting this, but I've never finished Okami. I've got it on PS2, Wii, PS3, and now PS4, and I've still never finished it on any system. I've watched it being played, uh, my pals. It is hard. It's really hard. It, it did seem long. All the times I've seen it uh, being played bring us one of the best Mario characters. Should I be hitting them? They're like friendly birds, but it's these guys that are bad, isn't it? Drop an apple on you. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Bye, or can he? It's too long and it's too hard. The consensus is in. <laughs> yes, spaced. Oh, that's right. That's a space reference. When she goes to work for uh, Flaps. Or is it that? Is it Flaps magazine? Hope I'm, I hope I'm remembering this correctly, otherwise I'm just going to sound uh, incorrect. Is there other stuff up there? Should I shoot down all the apples? Nah, we'll be fine, eh? We don't need to do that. Uh, I think I like how this is working. They're good at the puzzles, these guys. They know what they're doing. I forgot what they're called already. I think it's Turbo something. Turbo Digital, maybe. They're very good, though. Hmm. Feels like it should be able to get over there, doesn't it? I feel like I've missed so many on the Wii. Like, there's one, like, Blast Works or something that was a shmup where you can, like, kind of G Darius enemies onto you, like, you can build, make your ship bigger and bigger. Yeah, Wii U is fully compatible with the Wii, like, you can play, you can play your Wii games in 1080p through the Wii U. Uh, like, you can play your GameCube games at, I was going to say 720, but I don't think it is, I think it's just 480p you can do on the Wii. <laughs> Aye, I mean, now, now it's definitely worth picking up a Wii U. But it would mostly be for that function. <laughs> Aye, the golden eye thing. I never played that. I bought it uh, because it had the classic controller with it. The gold classic controller came with the golden eye game. So I bought it for that, but then I barely played it. Stuck on the original N64 golden eye, which a lot of people say is unplayable now, but if you played it enough back in the day, it comes back to you. <laughs> Been playing the PS2 at 1080i. Nice. I did see like limited run games uh, have HDMI converters for like nearly every console now. But I know that um, their PS2 one is a bit weird with like some PAL region games because we were like 50 hertz for certain stuff. What happened? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> How am I stuck at this game already? Uh, but they had ones going for like the Dreamcast. Uh, how's that going to work? Like that. There we go. Uh, they had ones going for the GameCube and all that recently. The SNES. Mega Drive. Oh, that's shot though, isn't it? So I need to get over there. Oh, right, right, right. Because of that horrible control. Ah, yeah, people people say that about GoldenEye, but I've played it a couple of times with pals and we've had a blast. <laughs> like, it's weird getting your brain to, you know, get used to the one analog uh, control again. But it comes back to you. The weirdest one is, do you remember shooting games before dual analog sticks were a thing on PS1. Did you ever have multiplayer sessions at Quake on the PS1? That was mental. Try to play that again. I could barely move and shoot at all. Do you know what the first game, the first FPS game to have dual analog controls <laughs> on PS1 was. Can I give you a high five, man? Yes! Yes, wee man! Right. Uh, I didn't know what that was. Because there's a, a famous review for it where the guy said, um, Half-Life? No, no. Before, before Half-Life. I think Half-Life was uh, PS2. So we're talking PS1 
1999-2000 and a guy reviewed it, uh, the first FPS with dual analogue controls, like the standard controls now, and he said um, these controls are terrible and this will never catch on. Imagine being that guy. Crash. <laughs> I suppose Crash did for like 3D platformers and that, yeah. But for like FPS games, it's a weird one. It's uh, Alien Resurrection on the PS1, which still looks pretty good when you play it through your uh, PS3. Yeah, yeah, Alien Resurrection. I think it's 99, 2000 that came out. And there, there is a famous review of a guy looking quite foolish now but it's mad to think like we we just adapted to things we we played uh oh what is that is there a wee tape up there i kind of want to get that tape i'm gonna have to go back to down there to get it though right i'm gonna get that tape sorry guys <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, a lot of the other uh, shooters on PS1 are, are solid for that exact reason. But Alien Resurrection. Alien Trilogy, like, I played the hell out of. But it's more like Doom, it's kind of easier. I got, I got the Doom Eternal uh, kind of helmet edition. Pokemon Stadium was classic. I only played that in my pals. I never had the 64 originally. But we used to swap consoles back then. Be like, can I have a shot of your N64 with a couple of games and you can have a shot of my PS1 with a couple of games just for a week? And then I'd blast through all of them. <laughs> I've not opened it yet. I got it. I got it for 150 just before lockdown, I think. And I've not opened it yet because it's worth like three hundred pound or something. Uh, I was thinking about doing that. I was like, I could stream all the Doom games. We, uh, wow, that's going to be hard to uh, hit that tape for you. It's not going to work, is it? Prince of Art at Tech and he left. <laughs> and he left the game. <laughs> my my favourite story like that was we used to have a hang when I was at high school, there'd be like activity week or something. And uh we had this thing that was called Games, Games, Games. And they just had uh, an entire department that just had loads of consoles and that that everybody brought in. Right, I think that's it. And uh I was <laughs> I was really good at Tony Hawk, the original Tony Hawk skateboarding. I was playing a guy there who was like beating everybody, and I went in. and I was talking to him about the, the grind in it, uh, the holy the holy poo grind we'll call it in the warehouse. And it's the grind if you grind all the way around the warehouse, you get this, and it can if you link it to enough combo, it can make you get a million points, and it makes your score go all the different colours. Well, I sat down and played him at it after he was beating everybody and he got really upset. But then I, I showed him how to do the grind in that and then we, we were good pals. So it was nice. He didn't like storm out greeting. He nearly did. <laughs> he was so raging. But I the whole AS grind in Tony Hawk. I nearly drove him into tears. Oh, what? I wonder what you have to do to get that then. I'm looking forward to the new Tony Hawk. What does this do actually? Oh wait, 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 wait. Was it as easy as... It was as easy as this the whole time. I'm an idiot. An absolute idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't, I actually can't wait for that new Tony Hawk man. Tony Hawk 1 and 2, and it's got, you know, it's not got all the music, but it's got some of the most important ones to me, like Goldfinger, Superman, and 
uh, Dead Kennedy's police truck. Power Man 5000, they're hopefully still on it. Worlds Collide. I put me, that, those games put me onto so many bands when I was younger. Got me into Ska big time. Ska Punk. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop looking for things or this game's going to take me seven days to complete. It's going to be like The Ring. Sorry for your loss. There are, there's some games that are out yet, like, um, Institutionalized and... I did, I loved, I loved Tony Hawk. It's weird, I never got Tony Hawk 5. But from what I've been reading, it doesn't even work now. Like, the game... Like, a disc came out for it and that, and they still sell it at CX for 30 quid. But from what I'm reading, it doesn't even... Like, you can't, you can load up the menu and that's as far as you can get. If any of you have got it, and can confirm if that's true or not before I spend 30 quid on a non-functioning game. I'm just surprised that places are allowed to sell it if it genuinely does not work. Aye, they're re-releasing the first two on, like, 20th of September, I think. Yeah. And there's a big get a skateboard, a birdhouse skateboard edition in that game. I think it's about 60 quid, but I'm probably not going to go for that one. There's a hidden football over there that I do want to go for now. Uh, but I'm going to get the, the standard version, definitely. I used to tour around the West Country with an American mate of mine. The battered old land yacht of a car. <laughs> that sounds decent, like. Right? Fear and loathing. <laughs> oh. yeah. Suicide Tennessee was stuck in that car. Just playing on repeat. <laughs> nice. On whip. Oh yeah. Forever. <laughs> Uh, that'd be enough to maybe put you off it, like. Oh no! See, I don't miss that. I don't miss that for the old days. <laughs> I try to work out how you would get there. Did that? Control any of that nonsense. No. Why am I going around here? Does this move? Ah, there we go. He lives in Atlanta now, so he spent all last summer doing the same in his car. That's kind of cool. He's still got that car, and it's still stuck. <laughs> No. <laughs> New car. <laughs> nice. Alright, so that's open. But there's a football down there. Nah, you know what? I'll come back and find the secrets next time. We just need to get this boys dug. It's a nice spotlight. Oh, it's a big level anyway. Uh, can you do a sort of Lara Croft? No, no, you can't. Must be something around here you can use, though. That type of thing. Can you see anything? Huh. Hmm. Confusion. Alright, you can't go through that. 
That only goes up and down there. I think he can make that jump. No, he can't. Was that? Yeah. Is it gone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy. Hey. Right, I can fire that at those, but how do I get up there? I didn't realise I could interact with a lot of this stuff. That? Oh, that's smart. That is smart. Very cool. I like how these guys think. Some good puzzles. Professor Layton would love this game. What's what's uh, the game that you use wish? Like if there's something that isn't really available now, like Snatcher is probably the main one for me now that Sunset Riders is is out there on everything I think except for Xbox, <laughs> and it's the four-player arcade version as well. Sorry, I'm just having a wee drink of juice. Snatcher, Police Knots, they would be. The first two I would like to get on anything, please. Anything at all, no even picky. Put it on anything, I'll buy it. Jones in for the. Oh, yeah! Is that still coming this year? I think. Did Limited Run say that they're getting the physical copies or something as well? That would be a good one, right? Like. Night Dive, I haven't said much about it. Ah, I see, I see. No, that's, that's going to be... That's going to be great. You know, that's just reminded me I never played Broken Sword 5, and I've had that quite a while. I need to play Broken Sword 5. It's because I missed, like, they didn't put out Broken Sword 4 on um, consoles. So I always said to myself, I was like, oh, I'm going to play 4 first before I play 5, but I've still not done it. Never played past the second one. Did you know? Did you know play um, on PS2? What was it? Sweeping Dragon and. Is there a painful goat joking for it? I don't know. I didn't even watch it because I was like so determined. I was like, I will play this game. I never have because my PC hasn't had games on it in a long time. Uh, uh. Uh, I broken sword. I think I played all the Sam and Max ones, right? How did I miss? Oh, I missed that. Right, I see, I see. And that. Okay. Just one and two on PC. I played them on PC and uh, console PS1 back in the day. I think I had it on the Game Boy Advance as well, but that version... It was alright. I don't think there's any dialogue in it. Well, spoken dialogue. Which is a shame. Ah. Sam and Max, they were honestly great. That was Telltale as well, wasn't it? Sorry, total shouting at you. Got excited though, I remembered playing them. The Devil's Playhouse and that. I think there was physical copies for that on the Wii, but... I think it was only in, like, Germany and that. What happened there? I shouldn't have been... These, the day popped down. Is that what happened? 
There we go, look at that. Aye, Sam and Max was really good, like... <laughs> he'd finished the third season of it. So what was it? The first one was Save the World, wasn't it? And then there's the Devil, the Devil's Playhouse. What was the third one? Oh, I'm inside a mountain. Chop it down with the edge of my hand. <laughs> You've done all of them. I can't even mind what the third one's called. I think it's Save the World, Devil's Playhouse, and then something else. They were great though. I thoroughly enjoyed playing them. There's actually, I have got an embarrassing amount of uh, Telltale games to still finish. Ah. Like, I did do the Jurassic Park one finally. It's actually pretty good, I don't know what folk were moaning about. <laughs> uh, but I have, like, the Batman one today, the Game of Thrones one today. Uh, Hunters, Borderlands. Oh my God! Don't ever do that again, wee man. I think I've got two Batman ones today. Didn't like the Batman one very much. I have. I think I've got it on PS3 and PS4. Got the first one and maybe the Enemy Within as well. Walking Dead was my favourite, although I've still not done Frontier and Season 3, unless they're the same thing. I've done 1 and 2 and Michonne. There's always a wee shooting game in here that I'm good at. Every VR game. Look at him just standing there like he's no bothered. <laughs> oh, those games, like, were uh, properly emotional. I <laughs> know, that nearly dropped right on his skull, man. I'm gonna find your dog now when you get crushed by a bridge. Going up the mountain. The gold in the mountain of our madness by the flaming lips. Devil, Devil's Playhouse was the third one. That's just confused me even more. There's the dog. <laughs> nice. I know. What are you doing? I need to help the dog. Like, I'm better at this than you, wee man. Look at this. Push the button. Good dog, man. Good dog. <laughs> I'm not gonna get the dog. Why are there no more platformers in VR? Is it because. Folk have already done incredible things with them. Yeah, what's the dog doing now? <laughs> Alright. Oh no, should I maybe move that first? And then just jump down. There you go, doggy. That should help something out. And then this time, get on it. You need the help first. 
Like that. Does that work? Where do I go, dog? Over there. Nice, which means I can move the other thing. Did I want that to be over here, do you think? Simply so that I could climb on this. This game is so cool. I'm trying to think of other things. I would love to see... Uh, more of the shooting games, the light gun games coming to Switch because <coughs> they've got the kill IR sensor thing and you can use them as light guns. Try and get other games for the past that I adore that I would love to see on uh, other machines. Oh, I'm running out of battery. It's all right, I've got another controller, if it does happen, and then we flung him off the edge. Look at him! Scraping his arse on the grass. Right. You pushing that for me? And that activates that thing. Doggy. Uh, X-Men Legend Games. Did they not do a third one of that? Is that not on the Switch now? No. Ah, it is, I think. That's weird that that came back. You're not going to like this Wrath of Kermit, but um, my favourite thing about those games... Reading about how to jailbreak the Wii U. Ah, it's quite easy, like. It's good that they've made things like that easier now. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, that was it. My favourite thing about those uh, Ultimate Alliance games was the voice actors in it. Oh, I thought that was that would work. Right, well, I can go get a secret. Um, there's a Metal Gear Solid reunion in the Marvel, Marvel Ultimate Alliance voice cast, like, I think Liquid Snake is like Thor, which is great fun. I'm sure Paul Leiding and Jennifer Hale and all that are all in it as well. This is your Metal Gear Solid trivia for the day. Is this not the right answer? It looks like I could... Nice. Although getting back up from here might be an issue. That sounds like the noise I make when I solve a puzzle, to be honest. Don't crush the dog. There we go. End war on the PS3 with a PS3 microphone for one pound. In a charity shop, I thought the gimmick of controlling the game with your voice would have been... It does work very well. The gameplay is a bit boring, but... I love, I love that kind of uh, game where you can talk to it. Like, there's only a few that it, that it works with. Uh, but end war, aye. That's a steal. You still got it? I'll buy it after you. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I think I've still got end war. I've got a wee Metal Gear Solid 4 Bluetooth headset. No, aye, aye, that worked with it as well, didn't it? That stifle thing. It is. Oh, you've got me thinking, I think there's a game on PS2 that had it. Well, it maybe was an import only. What's he pointing at? What do you want me to do? This is why you ended up having a bit of a close conversation with Dreamcast Seema. It is. I just couldn't believe the things that it was talking to me about. It, it took me by surprise. 
big time. Is this where I should have been standing? I don't want to die on this bit. Seaman. Seaman could do with a, a reboot. I've seen that article you, you shared with us at the end of the last stream as well. I meant to mention that. But that was from like 2012, uh, 2015, wasn't it? Devolver were like, we'll make Seaman. We make weird games. We're well up for doing that. confused. Okay, so you're out there. Can I get out there? Still have the original connect. It's possible to control... Ah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. No, you can do that with the modern machines as well, like the Xbox One and the PS4. If you've got the camera, people... I can't have that on. I can't have it the voice recognition hang on when you've got folk round because all they have to do is just go like Xbox shut down aye like that <laughs> the hammy US accent exactly if they're like losing it again they'll just be like Xbox uh, quit <laughs> Xbox <laughs> sorry to my American audience on YouTube I apologise you just can do Scottish things it's fine it's fine uh, the wee Doug should be going up there, but he's not. I can't even move this wheel anymore. Is it because I'm on it? Let me see. There we go. That's what the problem was. But there's no way for me to get back over. So let me... Let me use that and get off of here. Does that platform move when I'm... No, that one stays still. Right, that's the solution. Aye. But whenever I'm playing folk at Xbox or PlayStation, you can do that. There's folk online. I've seen a couple of videos getting shared where somebody had called their username, like Xbox Sign Out or um, Xbox Shut Down. And then he would do things to troll the people until they said his name and it would nearly shut down and kick them for the game kind of thing. Which is a good joke, I suppose. <laughs> but it's the same joke that my friends would play on me when we're actually in the same room as each other playing a game. So I can physically attack them. <laughs> can play Mortal Kombat in real life. Play flat fight or two. Hyper fighting. Right. There's this going. It's going up. Look how excited the wee dog is. We're going to be reunited. I jinxed it. Dog's like, well, you had your chance, that's me away. There's another world. Another world. What a game that is as well. Gold trophy. Going to the mines. <laughs> I'll need to set up my Elgato. Stream some uh, some of my all-time favourites. So I feel like there's a, a fair whack of them that people genuinely haven't heard of. Most had fight over so was that so caliber on the dreamcast <laughs> growing up with my wee cousin i used to play so much uh when he came around we'd play so many fighting games it would sometimes he would get so angry with me that it would escalate to that beat a mate of mine i thought he was a master in the game or real life both <laughs> button mashed away to victory aye that was the most galling if you were great at a game, like, you'd played it, you'd been practicing all the ten hit combos and someone would come in and mash the buttons and beat you in the game then real life. <laughs> the double. The combo disappointment for that guy. <laughs> that was some noise. Uh, what else 
could I shoot with this, do you think? Shoot out the light. It says there's one more light, doesn't it? <laughs> All of a sardine. <laughs> it has. It has went quite Zelda. I feel like there's something I can't see. Some sort of thing for that. Hmm. Maybe, maybe the third thing is me standing on the the thing, actually, or pulling the pulling these about. That was some noise again. That's such a abrasive sound. It's good though. Sounds like something off the IK oscillator. The Korg. Uh, so that would help me... Rogue Squadron. See, that's the thing. That's that's what the new Star Wars is called, isn't it? Because it's Star Wars Squadrons. Hey, I know, man. It's coming out in October. <laughs> I'm hoping that that... It is a shame, because they were great as well. What was it? Was it... I was going to say Factor 5. But then that makes me think that it's a makeup thing. I think it is Factor 5 that, that made the old ones. Aye, they were amazing. Like, I mind on my, the PC, me and my pal would play that co op. Like, one of us would do the shooting and bombing, and the other person would do the flying. Like, across the keyboard. Turning things co op that weren't a co op. I used to do that a lot. Especially on the kind of, it was, I just punched myself and the VR in the face. <laughs> Trying to itch my face there. Uh, especially it was like the snow speeder bomb and run missions. You, it felt like you needed two people to be able to do that properly. That was the excuse anyway. <laughs> he bombs away Brownweed. <laughs> Stay on target. Stay on target. <laughs> Dogs barking at the bats, and the bats are like, "Hey, <laughs> porkins!" <laughs> bats are no having it. <laughs> oh, he's have got me quite excited about Star Wars Squadrons just by talking about uh, Rogue Squadron. I don't know what he scud the bats with. That doesn't seem. Fair, but maybe they're upsetting the dog. He's have to go. He's have to go. Right before he's go though, I think I need to. Because he's on a pressure pad or something for that to happen, isn't he? Not it. But then I can't eat do anything. <gasps> Wing Commander, oh my god. I nearly jumped off the edge there. I've got them on the... I was trying to find console or handheld versions of the Wing Commander series. And I think you can get Wing Commander 1 on the PSP in an EA replay collection. And you can get Wing Commander 3 and 4 on the PlayStation 1. I was trying to get physicals out of those kind of games for consoles. Like Rebel Assault you can get on the Mega CD and then Rebel Assault 2 is on the PlayStation 1. I played that when it came out back in the day. Wing Commander GBA, is that real? <laughs> I think it's 2, I think Wing Commander 2 is maybe the only one I can't get a hold of. That is real! That's mental. Ah, yeah, yeah, it was the first one with Mark Camel on it. Oh, no. The doggy man. How can I do that for the... Oh, wait, wait, wait.
Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Got it. Sorry, guys. Solving puzzles and getting nostalgic at the same time. Right, so... We're going to put this up so that can go back. And then we're going to use this to scale the bats one more time by Daft Punk. And we've solved the puzzle. That was a nice musical cue for solving puzzles as well. Like, I love solving puzzles. Got a trophy, nearly died. <laughs> Where'd the dog go? Did the bats kill it? Take it away? This game feels like it would have worked well on, like... Like, this could be ported to the Switch and it would still work fine, I think. Some of the VR stuff... It'd be hard having a first person... I don't know. I don't know enough about... ...porting things. Wing Commander. I think three and four, one of them's got Malcolm McDowell in it, I think. Gangster number one, he's in it. <laughs> Look at that, voided. Killing myself now. Aye, as a cat! It's wild! <laughs> oh, what did he play them? They had like four discs each as well, those games. Get that game on Kickstarter. Like. <laughs> so much FMV. Ah, there was as well. Right, so that does that. If there's. Yep, I'll be able to do that when I get those. So, what else is missing here? I can just go straight up here and use them. I think there was a couple of cool games on that EA replay for the PSP. I think they had um, Syndicate Wars, like the original, the PC one. No, the remake of Syndicate. Which was really good, actually. I think the remake got a lot of fire for being an FPS back in the day, but uh, I think it was alright. A lot of those games I scooped up quite cheap though. Like Dark Void and Syndicate and Singularity and Fracture. And I had a blast with all of them. <laughs> that one turn around? I can hear sun making a squeaking noise. Think you can smash that down? Never played the Syndicate remake. I think it's got quite a cool style. It's kind of minging and violent. Um, like they use the big data spike thing to get the information out of folk. I mind that. What was the other one that... I need to do a big retrospective on going to actually write about the games I played. Played the hell out of it as a kid in the A600. Nice! It's my brain. <laughs> it is my brain. Someday for that Syndicate game used that data spike on my brain and it's not repaired properly. It looks like you could hit that for here, eh? There's a big rock in the way. Let me see. Ah, it's deliberately giving me a bad angle, so I need to go down here first. Right, that's no use just now either. Singularity was really good as well. I think that was Nolan North. I've done the voice acting in that game. Had a good idea, it was kind of a downer actually, if I remember. It's quite a heavy going story. 
And you could use your time powers to just like turn guys to dust. Turn them to skeletons and then just crush you to dust. There's your Metal Gear Solid reference again. So I need to get a minecart that probably lives in there. Oh, that got rid of the rock. Well, it didn't get rid of it, it moved the rock. Which means I can shoot that now. And keep my eyes open for a Wii U on the market. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. There's still like... I think there's about 10 decent exclusives that you can still get, like, that you can only play on that, but it keeps, uh, they ported a lot of it to the Switch, but jailbreaking it might be the way to go. I think Devil's Third was by, like, the Ninja Gaiden guy. It wasn't great. A lot of those games, if you, you whack them on easy though, you're going to have a, a decent time playing through them, seeing the mad story. <laughs> Sorry, how you drink a juice there? Hydration is essential. Right, can I hit anyone else? It's purely for high def GameCube stuff. Nice. <laughs> That's it. I need to get, I need to set up those things. I keep getting jealous. I'm on other folks' channels and they have all these like emotes and high commands and all that. Aye, Nightbot. I used to have a Nightbot thing. It was a John T. Morton bot for a wee while. But I think somebody who used to watch us four years ago came back to uh, to do it again on the same game because they first done it when I played Super Hot four years ago on their uh, Xbox One. John T. Morton bot turned up there. Right. What was I doing? What was my plan? I set out with a plan there. It's not that yet. Is it this? It's this. I'm going to move the wee guy out of the way before he gets crushed. Can you make that jump? Some jump, man. <laughs> he's getting confident now, you see that? He's booting open things. Bad influence on him. That never opened the last thing I need to open though, did it? So I can't ride this round either. I can't go on here. On the terror elevator. I feel like I need to send that back to push a button over there though. Good puzzles. Oh, there we go. I could have done that. I could have done that before, but I didn't. It's easy enough to get back up here, though. It looks like Jimmy Neutron a wee bit. The wee guy. Oh, I missed. I think I missed again. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. Nice one. <laughs> I think how much more comfortable I am using the controls in this now. Past the sort of shaky airway stages. We spotlight? Oh no. Decent. Right, the broken tunnels. I wonder how many worlds there are in this game. How long till we get a redug back? Are you 
use that to jump the I'll jump up there. Right, so that makes it go to the right. Go back up. Okay. Do you think this, if it goes to the left, do you think it opens up the room for this? There we go. And should I go down there and go on that? I mean, I'll have to come back up here though, that's the thing. Take it to the end of the line and see what it does. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> so, while that's open, I'm gonna jump down there and go pull this thing. Nice. Actually, that. Hi. So then it'll go into the other one. But I want to get back up here first so I can still change this around. Get him looking at me going like, what is this ghost guy doing then? Nice. And then change the track. And then we can just jump down over here. Oh, he's no up for it. Confused. Is it too big a, a drop for him? Go. Fall. Do it. <laughs> Ah, nice. So it's fixed now. So, cool. So it wants me to change the track. Oh, it's making it harder than it had to be. There we go. No? Still no? Do you want this guy to come back? True, that is probably quite a big jump, isn't it? And that will be the only way for me to get over there. Anyway. What should he done that? Nice. That's the way you do it. Just checking, seeing if there was any hidden things. There's probably hundreds of hidden things I've missed. Oh. So circle is pause. Is this as slow as possible? Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that's right. I have, there's a, there's a great video by Vsauce on, um, that's right. I think there might be another one that's uh, longer than that. But yeah, there's a few composers that wrote songs that I'll never, um, they'll never hear the end of, because they go on for years and years and years. What's that one about? Church not far from Berlin, which changes organ tubes every three years. Yeah, yeah. 
Aye, uh, it's there's a Vsauce uh, video called I think I must have seen it like seven or eight years ago, and it was called "Will We Ever Run Out of Music?" And it was something I'd tried to calculate uh, when I was writing music when I was younger. I was like. I wonder if all the songs have been written and how long would it take and I started trying to like make a calculation for all the different tones and all the different variations of how you could play them and all the different note lengths but yeah they do that on that Vsauce video they work out how many you know songs are left <laughs> meant to say recovered from yesterday I don't know I didn't really sweep last night like I slept maybe five hours thousand year music yeah that's right that's right that stuff's mad so obviously I was big into the Flaming Lips and they had a, a 24 hour song and a 6 hour song and I think it's called H H7 7 Skies but obsessed with slow mo music absolutely Seeger Ross and Ambient music. Right. So, I'm worried that I've, the game's glitched here. Because he's not letting me use his, uh... He's not letting me use that. I'm just going to recalibrate. Sun! Oh, absolutely. Yep. Hey, let me... I'll stand over there and try. See, it should be turning me into, uh... A swing shot here. Because I'm pushing X. But nothing's happening, and that is a shame, because I've been enjoying this game. So far. Do you think that only works if... Uh, if it's set to the other side, maybe? I always break the game, Wrath of Kermit. I don't know... How? They need to get me to test games because I constantly, constantly breaking the game. So it's not like it's not like that's a button or anything that needs pushed. Let's try going up again and see if it works. There we go. Nice. That's losing my gosh darn mind. Right. What do you want me to do? Let me hit these things. Oh. Oh. It's the hair. <laughs> it gets into the VR. It upsets the VR. Hey. We did it. They should port all the amazing... Uh, games to the the Switch and the PS4 as well, like ones for the last generation, like uh, Asura's Wrath, Dodge and Patchy Resurrection. All the Metal Gears, please. All the Metal Gears, every single one of them. Can I do something? Eh? Don't do Survive too, but do something. <laughs> Easier to do now as well. Yeah, yeah. Blue point games are amazing as well. Yeah, yeah. Konami have got so many incredible games that they're doing nothing with. Like, who was it that done Sunset Riders? I think it was like Hamster Corp or something. I think they done it. And that's brilliant. <laughs> like, it's so good. Bring back Silent Hill. Absolutely. Even just port the ones that exist already. I mean, I know the HD collection was not the best, but from the beginning. 
What one do you prefer? Do you prefer Origins or Original Silent Hill 1 Hex Adventure? So I think in Origins they tried to sort some of the story. You've not played Origins? Nice, nice. You get that on your PS2, although it's probably cheaper on PSP. I think they're both kind of dear now. That one used to be like bargain bin all the time, but things like CX and online shops kind of change the value of games a lot. What do you want the PS2? Amazing. Mm hmm. It was good. It tried to, you know, sort a lot of the stuff people didn't like about the original Silent Hill. Of the original 3, a Resident Evil style remake. HD and it's got all the eyes, so amazing. I still insist on playing everything off the of discs if possible. <laughs> And I, I, that would be amazing. Like, but I don't know what what Konami are doing. I actually, I don't understand what they're up to. To just fill with the snow. <laughs> no, like we're into gambling and. Right, says you. It could be, there could be stuff happening I don't know about. But from the outside looking in, it looks like they're kind of just being widows, man. <laughs> they're evil. Man, the reverb on that noise. Can you jump that? Then he looked down. High five, man. There you go. <laughs> uh, Kojima property and he doesn't want Konami profit. I don't know. I feel like they're using... They've been using the Fox engine for their Pro Evolution games. Uh, so, I mean, they're getting... They're getting some use out of the stuff he built. <laughs> I don't know. It's just weird. We... We survive, it was like they had the engine and all the assets for Metal Gear Solid 5 and that's the best they could do was a game that I actually can't complete. It's one of the hardest games I've ever played, Metal Gear Survive. And it's not very good. <laughs> Which is a real... I mean, I feel like you'd have to try really hard to have all that stuff to play with and make a bad game. I'll have to high five him off the platform. No, I wanted him off of there so I didn't have to look down and get vertigo. <laughs> okay, these are gonna get more complicated. <laughs> There's that as well. I tried so hard to like it. It nearly had me because it had bits of story at the beginning. I think I could only survive like seven or eight days in. I was con constantly dehydrated and running out of uh, food and water all the time and being sick because I didn't have clean water. Made it like weeks into the game and we still couldn't develop clean water but we were building like fences and everything. There's that noise again. Oh, so there is a secret down there. Played Fall Guys on the PS4 yet. It's very simply fun. I haven't. A few people on my friends list have, have been playing that though. I noticed that the last few days it's been popping up. That's a secret, but how would I get... It's a secret, but it's dead zone if I go down there. I've never died in the game yet, but well, I'm just... It's a sock. Fences and pointy sticks. <laughs> Think I could go down there? Nah. There must be a way to get down there. Aye, fences and pointy sticks is is pretty much how I was surviving most of it, but there's bits ah. where there's like big swarms and waves of them and 
I mean, it is it's truly a survival game, but it's not necessarily fun in any way. It's just kind of everything in it is a pain. <laughs> right, there's beep beep. So we got two, one more. So I'd need to find a way to get onto that one. And then up there that you want? No. Okay. When do they get closest? So if I jump off of here... There we go. Solving puzzles. Like a pro. Huh. There's the terror sounds. It's been turned up full. Even if that goes all the way down to there, it isn't close enough to get to that weird sock thing. What's happening now? Can we use... Uh... Put your coin back up? <laughs> no, I just I don't want it to happen. No falling to my death today, please. Right, let me jump off of you. Oh my god! Right, right, right. And then we move this thing up like that again. Actually, I'm not sure. What else did I have that I could use here? See, I feel like it's go up there and drop onto that, but... And then maybe fall onto that, and it'll spin it around. This all seems kind of dangerous. He's looking at me very concerned about my plan. He's like, I don't think that sounds right, what you want to do. Nah, he's no for it. He's no for that either. Because we want to land on that and that'll make that drop which will go through there. We've got it. We've got it now. Oh no! That's just one! So I still need that one to happen. What's that for? It is kinda, isn't it? It's reminding me of Cameo as well. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm lost. Right, how would that... There we go. Nice. Enclave. I recognise the name. Was that on the consoles? Because that's, that's the main thing for me. I've, I've missed a lot of stuff. I have to wait for the console ports. Enclave was on the original Xbox. Oh man, I must have. I feel like I can picture the artwork for it. <laughs> I can't believe how easy the solution was to that there and I didn't see it for ages. It's because there's so many other things you start thinking... I'm still thinking about Enclave as well. I'm gonna have to look up Enclave. Was that a good one? I'm trying to think. I did. I did get a few. I was trying to collect all the backward compatible. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was trying to get the backward compatible Xbox One. Well, original Xbox, Xbox One games. Like, there's some great ones that do work. Like Panzer Dragoon or... Uh... Uh, Dead to Rights, Blood Rain 2. What else was there that was great? Psychonauts. Are there really? Oh, the State Emergency? Man. I'm going to go through my Xbox collection tonight. 
Because I've done that. I mean, I only. Oh my god. Right, we're not doing that then. So. Sorry. Uh, I remember it was in the chat. Folk in the chat were like, if you put your original Xbox games into your Xbox One, you can download them. And I was like, I right, that is such utter garbage that they're talking. <laughs> uh, I think it was with 360, and I was like, no, that doesn't work. I'm not going to try that. I'll break my machine. And then other folk were like, no, that, that's real. What they're saying is real. And I was like, aye, they're just trying to get me ruin my machine. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if I'm doing this right, but this is how I'm doing it. <laughs> Uh, but it genuinely did work. You get updated versions of the game. That's that's the thing that astounded me was like, it seemed incredibly generous. Like it seemed too generous to be true. <laughs> like, and I can just have the game, and there's I don't have to pay anything, and I just put the game in, and it it downloads it. I mean, it'll ask you to put the disc in every time you want to use it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I was like, what's the catch? What happens? Is it going to charge me somehow? <laughs> but it doesn't. It just lets it happen. Try to take a wee look at my shelves over there. So what have I got? Dead to Rights, Crimson Skies, Armed and Dangerous, Blood Rain, Black, Blanks the Time Sweeper, Breakdown, Mercenaries, uh, Panzer Dragoon Orta, Prince of Persia 1, Sid Meier's Pirates, Red Faction 2, Splinter Cell, SSX, Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, Star Wars Republic Commando, Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars Jedi Knight Academy, Unreal Championship, my soul. Sorry, what did I miss there? Is Enc uh, does Enclave work on... Uh, is that backwards compatible as well? It's £4 in CX, I'm going to get that. I'm skint as hell until the end of the month. Get back to work during the week. Uh, well, in two, two weeks. I think the 16th or 17th I'm back. There's the wee hangs I've been finding. I should have been collecting more because this would fill out his cool wee treehouse area. Broken tunnels. Elevator ride. <gasps> Is this going to be like floor plan? Surely they're going to have some floor pan. I'll try and speak properly. Surely they're going to have some floor plan references in this level. It's a lot more open, this area. Oh, wow, look at this. He makes similar noises to what I would be making if I was in this situation. <laughs> what less screaming. Aye, Republic Commando was good. I remember back in the day thinking that it was an incredible looking game. I don't think I've put it on in a, lo a long time. Because um, I don't want to tarnish the kind of memory I have of it looking incredible. But I guess playing it on Xbox One would be the way to to go. What's that one doing? It turns the light on. So we don't even want to turn the light on until we've got over here and freed this one. Those are some that I should be I should be streaming. I should like one day a week do a backward compatible kind of retro game. Cause I feel like I'm getting lost in the VR games again. Dreams though, I've still not got around to playing Dreams, and it's now VR compatible, and folk are making VR games inside Dreams. I feel like I should have been on that a long time ago, and I haven't. Right, so the lights are on. What happens now? You want? Hey, well, that's pretty. Good to see you. Cheers for tuning in. Me and Kirsty's husband used to play it all the time. 
Just a pity. It was one player. And they did not make a sequel to it. Aye, that's true. It's weird. There used to be so many Star Wars games. I think since EA got it, they've really done very little with it. I mean, what they did do was great. The dice engine is nice. But it feels like we lost a lot of the kind of more niche Star Wars games. It's a port of Enclave for the Wii. What? Aye, that might be... I mean... That might be why I've heard the Enclave. I do remember it. I feel like it's got an artwork that's very vivid in my head. Like a guy wearing some kind of... Uh, old looking armor. Cracking little okay, game, man. I'm definitely going to try and get it, especially if it's four quid. Trying to... <gasps> That's what happens. It's a lift. Sometimes this game flings new things at you and you're like, lost. For a wee while. Right, can I climb off up here, do you think? Just climb off there. Is there any reason I'd have to climb off there? Maybe if I match these tracks up. No, I need to get round to that. Take my wee guy could jump down there. Yes, he could. I'm finally playing that game well that's pretty that, that you had as your background for ages. That along along together with a wee dog scratching its bum. <laughs> huh, so you can only turn it on... What did it do though? It didn't do anything. Maybe been too quick coming down here. I maybe need to go do over there first. Yeah. Oh. All right. Let's try. Oh, that's as far as I can go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, there's another thing on it. There's another thing. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see if this has helped. It hasn't. Bad news. Very bad news. I can't even find a thing to make that come back up now. Uh, have I broke it? It seems locked in place now as well. <laughs> If he comes round enough, can I grab the top of this or something? It feels like that should be hitting the other one as well, because it's like, it's under there. But maybe it's not though. What part of that did I hold to move it? Calibrate, maybe that's the problem. Nope, it's not the problem. Gonna <laughs> jump here. Oh, that was close. No, he's no for jumping over either. 
Can you just jump over that fence? Come on. Oops. I maybe shouldn't have moved that. I think you can I think I'm supposed to move this back. this thing back up for over here, but I can he? I feel like this is maybe broke? It's possible. It's possible that I've broke this again. Which is a shame, because it's a good wee puzzle game, but it's only broke twice. There's no way I can move that back up. And that doesn't help me with anything, I don't think. else I can move on it. Well, that is a shame. I think when I put this here, it was supposed to light up that, but it hasn't. So now I'm stuck. Push all the buttons. That is a shame. I'm sorry along together, but you've broke twice. Well, I'll probably come back to this at some point. Um, that'll maybe do for now. It's a shame. I was hoping to just one-shot this after floor plan was so good. It does seem like I should be able to do something here, but I don't know what that noise was. Ah. What? What are you thinking? <laughs> I can't see anything else to move as well. Nothing else lighting up. No cogs, they're all fixed in place. Yeah. I think that's me done with this for now. <laughs> Alright. But cheers for tuning in everybody. That was amazing chat. Absolute nostalgia. I'm away to look up Enclave and test a bunch of Xbox original games. Shooter. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Nothing else is going like that, is it? It's just where I put my wee hang that the sparkles come from. Oh, that's so disappointing. Ah, the retro stuff, I should I should do more of that. I spent a long time playing old stuff. Uh, and coming back to it, I was like, this is incredible. I've been missing too much. Look at this game. I'll get you through the V square like that. Oh, you pal. There he is. Game's broke though. <laughs> A Star Game series. 
I'll check. I'll see if I've got any uh, sci-fi ones lying about. But I will come back to this. It's just a shame it's it's broke. I'm gonna have to look up that one to see, make sure that my game did glitch and I wasn't just being rubbish at it. But we've made it to the eight, world two, area three. I hope I hope it saves. Aye, Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. I've got a few of those. It'd be good to replay. But cheers again for tuning in, everybody. I'll hopefully see you again very soon for some more madness <laughs> by Darren Brock by Hex Adventure Wrath of Kermit well that's pretty uh, and anybody else that's been in that I've missed I'm sorry another TV viewer Commander Root Electrical Longboard Lemon Juices 12 Works Pingu Tio Rubber Slayer and that's everybody. Thanks again. Darren, fire up that GBA menu. <laughs> Get Wine Commander on the GBA. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Maybe later. Nice one. Catchies. Bye, bye. <laughs>